one of the things that seems to me that is so important is about, about story. And that's the thing that this is all about for me. And not just somebody telling you something, but the fact that you carry it, you fold your own life and you have your own culture and carry it is so important to me. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make those kind of films. So, I, 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 but it, it, it need, to, need a life to be able to do that. So it just happens, just about now. I was just, my wife, Lily, thank God, she's here taking care of me. Uh, but anyway, I was about, <laughs> I was just about to say, she doesn't know this, but just about 75 years ago, because I was only 15 when I got asked, asked, uh, graduated of high school, and they asked me to write, to, to tell some story. And because I was, you know, going to graduate. And I, you guys, I didn't tell anybody these stories, but this is the truth. And, and so I was, mostly my head was full of things like Moby Dick and Conrad and people like that. That's what carried in me in my head. That's the way I learned about things in the books. And then I decided that sometime I had to be out in the world and lived. So anyway, I was asked to, my, to, bring, uh, to, to, to talk to this peep of this group of this, uh, that, uh, the getting graduating. And so I had to speak to them. And I'll never forget it in my life, because this was 75 years ago. <laughs> I walked out to the center of this, of this place, right like this, pick up this thing, and I looked at everybody. I couldn't say anything. <laughs> and then, right, there was beginning giggle. And then a little bit later, it was laughter. And then finally, I just left. <laughs> and that was at least a, a minute that I was standing there because I had nothing to say. <laughs> so that's, what I, that's why I realized that the people who don't have a chance to speak those are the people who, who don't hear them. I wanted, I wanted to make those kind of films. With, that's why I lived with other people, so I'm lucky. So I know I'm going on and on, but last thing I just want to mention, the last thing and I'll get finished, is there was an, uh, so I wanted to live with that people who were so eloquent and who had something to say and catch, capture their own, uh, uh, their own culture. <laughs> And I remember I was watching in, in the South, because I went to the South, because I thought what was happening in this country was very important to be in segregation and things like that. And I wanted to live with those people. And I lived with the people with a man. I don't remember his name, name, but he was plowing with his mules. You know, and, and he stood next, and I was talking to him, and he said to me, he said that Lincoln lived off, off slavery from the yoke, but he left us with the bowl. So here am I, God, this lucky person, to be able to be talking like, like Melville, really, you know, that I could, this a person, that ordinary people, and this guy telling me that Lincoln lived off or the, the yoke, and that's the yoke that you carry the two mules. And the bowl is the wood of the bowl that makes the, 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 so you can carry it. And then behind it, of course, is the plow. <laughs> and, and that is what I, to me, this is all about. And that this is the, that making this, these stories is about the plow, plow. Because the ground, you have to break down all of the things that that is created on the and on the crust, and you have to attack that steel bowl of the of the cut through the the ground and open it so that all the break through the the things that everybody thinks that they really are, and he breaks them up so that you can tell stories 
and the different the good things and the bad things and all of these kind of things so you could understand who you really are. Anyway, so I'm finished. <laughs> Thank you very much.